is fibromyalgia? Fibromyalgia is a pain disorder. Um, for some reason that I don't think they fully have figured out yet, um, our neurons don't function correctly. So, like most people, when they get pinched or cut, their neurons fire off that a sense of pain, so it's urgency that someone is hurt. But our neurons are messed up, so we'll get fires of pain for absolutely no reason, and we will be uh, medically fine. Like, nothing on the x-ray, nothing on our body, but yet we'll still be feeling pain. How long have you dealt with fibromyalgia? I was diagnosed when I was 16. I am now 23. Um, but I did spend a year before that of trying to figure out what was wrong with me. So I've technically had it since I was about 14 or 15. What does a typical day look like for you? Um, typical day would entail a lot of fatigue. I usually always wake up tired and never fully rested. Um, I get a lot of stiffness in the morning. I get a lot of uh, normal pain from my hands or my, whatever I'm using a lot of. If I'm walking a lot, it's my feet. If it's if I'm using my hands a lot, it's going to be my hands bothering me. Um, there's always some type of pain of, or stiffness of some kind. Being someone who has dealt with fibromyalgia, what would you say is the most important thing that needs to be addressed? That not everything that people deal with is physical. It's not to the eye. Too many people of this world not just deal with fibromyalgia, but also deal with other chronic illnesses that you will never be able to physically see. So I really want to address the assumptions that just because I'm young doesn't mean I don't feel pain like an older person would. And just because I look like I'm in shape or fit doesn't mean I can't move and that I'm lazy. In all reality, I'm dealing with a lot, and so is so many other people. Can you tell me some examples of what goes on when you deal with fibromyalgia? Um, some of the extreme examples would be the major amounts of fatigue. Like, I could sleep for 12 hours or more and still wake up and be absolutely exhausted. Um, Many times I have where my hand will clench up and I cannot move it whatsoever. You can have IBS. Irritable bowel syndrome is when you have struggles with um, your bowels all the time. You either um, have major diarrhea all the time or congestion to where it won't release or um, Instances like this where I can't think straight called fiber fog, where I just absolutely am in a daze and I can't think straight at all. With IBS also comes the fact of, I don't know I have to go in the bathroom until all of a sudden it's an emergency. <laughs> I don't usually feel the buildup anymore, it's just as I have to go. <laughs> Instantaneously. Um, I deal with anxiety and depression along with this as well because they are commonly usually linked together because when your brain don't function right in one way, it don't function right in many other ways. Um, I deal with um, not being able to speak right. Um, there's many times that my words just won't come out no matter how many times I try. That's been a recent study that's been linked to fibromyalgia. Um, and then there's just extreme amounts of pain where you can't really do much throughout the day. Um, I've had to call off work sometimes because of I won't be able to properly hold things or pick things up. It's just not going to happen. You also constantly deal with migraines or headaches. I get headaches usually daily. 
Um, I've gotten to the point where I'm almost just kind of used to them. Um, anything can bring them on, light sensitivity, uh, people being just slightly too loud, anything can bring it on. Stress, stress is a big thing that will bring any of this on. Fibromyalgia people deal with what's known as flare-ups, where one part of your body will radiate extreme pain much more than any other part, and that can lead to the hand clenching, the not being able to move, um, all kinds of different stuff. It messes with your sleep a lot too. Um, I can never get a full, well I can't say never, with medicine I can get a full uh, night's rest, but without it I will never get the recommended amount of deep sleep because I will stay in REM stage or the dream state all night long. Um, I can also bring on insomnia and restless leg syndrome because because of your pain and your twitching um, your legs won't stop moving throughout the night which leads to not being able to sleep. Are there medications for fibromyalgia and have you taken any? If so, did they help? There are medications for my fibromyalgia. Um, when I was first diagnosed I tried Cymbalta is the name of it and there was a similar one that I was offered as well and I don't remember the name of that one. Um, I was on Cymbalta for I think until the end of high school um, but unfortunately with that came too many uh, side effects that were really affecting my life so it, it would lower the pain but I was having major nausea and I was having to leave my classes most of the day at a certain time because I felt like I was going to throw up and um, it also I think it affected my sleep, I'm not sure, to where it was in a negative way, not a positive way. So I did have medication before, and I'm sure there are many other medications, but I didn't want to risk this uh, side effects over the pain, because I've gotten to a point where I can get used to the pain, but dealing with the side effects of nausea and other issues it may cause, I thought is not a fair trade-off. Um, so what I do now and what a lot of other people do is they definitely always will have some type of pain relief around whether it's aspirin or ibuprofen, something. You just gotta be careful because too many people will take an overdose on it considering pain's not gonna easily go away. Um, another thing I take is supplements nowadays is because your body is missing usually missing a lot of stuff whenever you're on fibromyalgia. So I take magnesium and calcium and uh, another supplement called fish oils. That's the, it, it has omega-3, that's what it is. Um, that's all the parts of your body that are really low or deficient. So I just try to help my body out to fight it by supplementing it with what it needs. Um, there are many other, uh, melatonin is a really great one for sleep, um, but unfortunately there's no medication out there that's just going to completely cure you. There is no cure to this. When you tell people that you have fibromyalgia, do they know what it is or do they just look confused most of the time? Confused. Um, over 10 million people have fibromyalgia, which is about three to six percent of the world's population, but it is sad how little actually people know about it. Most people I've come across when I do tell them I have it get very confused and have no idea what it is. Um, the other small percent of people that I do come across that do know it don't know what it is exactly because they just are like, oh, I, I remember I came across somebody um, like a couple months ago and they had heard I had it and they came up to me and asked, are your hands okay? I, I was very confused. I was like, what do you mean, are my hands okay? I was like, yeah, they're, they're okay today, why? And they were just like, oh, I heard you had fibromyalgia. I'm like, well, yeah, which would make sense. Sometimes my hands hurt terribly. But I just think they misunderstood that it was not a 
thing just in the hands. I think it, they were thinking more of like arthritis or carpal tunnel. And when indeed it's just, my hands are a very small part of it. <laughs> so most people I come across sadly don't fully know what it is and 90% uh, of people have no clue what it is. And that's why I don't usually tell a whole lot of people because then I have to sit and explain and that's a lot. <laughs> Uh, how will this affect you in long term? It will always affect me. Um, there is no cure, but the one thing that does worry me is I've always been told since the beginning of my diagnosis that this will get worse as I get older. And that's a scary thing for me because it is already really hard sometimes. So if it gets worse, what all will I lose? But also, um, kind of makes me feel blessed that this is all that I have to deal with. Because, I mean, I could have something like worse. I could lose one of my limbs, I could have cancer. I mean, there's so much worse out there. So if this is all that I have to deal with for life, I'm kind of grateful. Is it hard to talk to people about fibromyalgia? Yes. <laughs> I have lied to so many people because unfortunately I have had too many bad experiences of trying to tell people I have fibromyalgia and I get their responses of, well you're too young to be sick, you're, oh wait till you get older, it'll just get worse. I get all the excuses of instead of acceptance, it's, or even heck the, you're crazy or you're a hypochondriac. It's very hard to tell people anymore because I have been turned away so many times and I've been told I've, it's not real so many times. So instead of telling my bosses, hey, I'm having a flare-up, most of the time I just say, hey, I don't feel good. And that's usually accepted much more than I'm having a flare-up and having to get into what that is and, oh, you can deal with the pain. If I'm telling you I'm in pain, trust me, I can't do it. Because 99% of the time, I'm already not telling you. <laughs> so, it's very hard to tell people about it. And that's why a very limited amount of people know I have it. But that's also why I want to spread this awareness. So, people won't so quick, be so quick to judge. And to understand that there's people that deal with hidden things. What would you tell someone that has been diagnosed or has been dealing with fibromyalgia? There is always hope. Um, you are incredibly strong for dealing with that. There are so many ways to... There is a wonderful community that um, you can go to. It's called the Spoonie community. <laughs> it's a funny name, but... It is a community that basically is based off of a theory saying that some people are just handed the short end of a spoon where you're just going to be dealt the harder life and that community is so understanding and lets you rant and, and completely complain about your pain and everything else so just know that you're not alone in this and that there are 10 million people in the world that deal with this. Mostly women, but there are a small percent of men that also deal with it too. So even if you're a man out there, you're not alone either. <laughs>